ladies and gentlemen, Sun Oyster Systems is developing a concentrating solar technology. That is also the reason why we are based in sunny Hamburg. How does it work? The curved mirror concentrates the sunlight on the receiver. And in the receiver, concentrator PV cells convert the light into electricity. And at the same time, a fluid is cooling the receiver and is transporting the heat to the user. So we call that solar CHP, solar combined heat and power. Now you may ask, uh, what do we need this sophisticated technology for as uh, PV has become so cost efficient over the last years? The problem of PV is that it converts only 20% of the radiation into electricity and 80% are wasted. That is also the reason why at the moment PV normally only powers the house and maybe charges the e-vehicle. The Sun Oyster wants to turn this around and wants to convert almost 80% of the radiation into useful energy, i.e. 30% into electricity and 45% into heat. And that is how we can cover the complete energy demand of a building, including the heating of the house in winter, heating of a pool, or cooling of the house in summer. A USP of the Sun Oyster, the mirror goes flat into a secure position when the wind is getting too strong, and we call that oystering position, and that is obviously where the name comes from. The core of the Sun Oyster is the hybrid receiver. It uses concentrator cells, which are coming from space technology and are now also used in terrestrial applications. They have an efficiency of 44% electrical. So in full sunlight, one four meter long receiver of the Sun Oyster, and we will um, give around um, a little model of this receiver. Yeah, you can give it around, thanks, yeah. Um, so this um, Sun Oyster will generate um, up to five kilowatt of electric power and 7.5 kilowatt of thermal power. That's what we call doubling the power. To give you um, a feeling, that corresponds to the output of 16 horses, 16 horsepowers, 16 galloping horses. But this high output shall also help to make, as Bloomberg said this morning, solar energy cheaper. So we want to become in sunny areas where there's a demand for heat, the cheapest form of solar energy roughly one-third cheaper than conventional photovoltaics. And at the same time, heat is becoming a cheap byproduct of the electricity, much cheaper than conventional vacuum tubes. As the temperature can go up to 170 degrees, there's a wide range of heat applications, and we like in particular process heat for industry, and uh, feeding the heat into steam power plants and solar cooling. Solar cooling is charming because you normally need the cold when the sun is shining. And we can generate this cold in two ways. On one hand, using the heat in small thermal chillers. There we can cool with one sun oyster six rooms of a villa. And at the same time, we could also use the electricity for cooling another three villas. Um, let's say at least european size villas, maybe not uh, dubai size villas. We are presently rolling out the pre-series in the sunbelt of the world and have some renowned customers there, for example, GDF Suez, Tata Power and China Coal. We are finding particular interest from India 
and uh, are discussing their um, cooperation with different players. And probably we would like to put our serial production there with regard to the low production cost and also the solar boom, which is ahead there in India. The Sun Oyster team, on the right hand, the original, and on the left side, the Sun Oyster mirror image, is uh, trying all year round to double the power. We have uh, so far collected 3 million euro, and we would like to double that in order to certify the product and to build up a serial production of 50 megawatt electric which would be combined with 75 megawatt thermal power. And this uh, would help us to raise uh, the turnover out of the serial production to 50 million euro in 2018. Thank you for your attention. Wow, very ambitious. Who likes uh, Sun Oyster? Raise a hand. <laughs> Wow, okay, you have a busy party ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs>